hi hand all those other greetings spade adventurers i'm jake spins welcoming you guys back to sonic and mario at the totally not winter olympic games for the two screen device god that would have been a worse name um <laughs> anyway though uh, today, I was not expecting to record, I just wanted to take it easy, did some editing, watched some Tom Fox, some laundry, just just chill, and um, was actually going to go to bed early, finally got out of the stream of what I was watching, and then at like 9.45, the, uh, the dog got skunked. Yeah. Uh, it's been a few years, and it's it's not it's still not as great. It's, it's not it's not great at all. So to combat the smell a little bit, I have a vanilla candle in my room right now. Right now it is 10:56. I am used to doing things late at night, but I just I really needed an early night to just relax and go to bed. Now, that's not going to happen. But also, if I try to go to bed when it's stinky or a flame is on my writing desk, bad things will happen. So I figured, you know what? I need to keep myself awake for just just long enough for, for the stench to be at least fought off a little bit. Then I can try to sleep. And the best way of doing that is keeping my mind off things. And the way I decided was to record a video. Is this going to be the best idea? Probably not. Am I going to be super scattered? Probably. But you know what? We're going to go for it. In the previous episode, we had a lot of trouble with uh, curling and dry bones, which is also why I was very concerned about picking this game back up and doing some more recording. But we're so close. We're so close, guys. It's got to it's got to be happening, right? Right, we got it. We got to be getting somewhere. And Dry Bones was blocking off this area. We are also running out of Mario enemies. It seems they're just uh, putting the lackeys there, which you think would be the beginning guys. But nope, they're the end guys, which is very strange that it's getting slowly lower down the ladder. It's actually not going to be Bowser and Eggman that we fight. It's going to be <laughs> it's going to be a Goomba and a Motorbug at the end. What pretty flowers! I didn't know flowers could grow in this cold climate. Cha -cha! They're called Frizzlies. They only grow in the cold. Oh wow, I think I saw some of those when Metal Sonic ended up dumping me. You know, because he's, he's metal and he's, he's cold and he broke my heart. Oh yeah, that that's uh... That's terrible. Maybe you should try dating something that is, uh, you know, not made of metal, but it's, it's fun. You know? Either way, though, the, the flowers themselves, I, I clear the snow every day. Just just so they'll grow, because you're, you're, you're pretty. You're pretty. I see. It's really nice of you to do that. Well, I did promise this princess. Um, I... You might, you might know her. Her name is Daisy. You, you know, her, her name is after flowers, too? So, so yeah, it's, it's just a nice thing to do. And I hope she comes by to see them. Hi. Oh, Princess Daisy, you say? Well, may, maybe I should, I should talk to her. Maybe, maybe I can get a, a date or something? Get, get over at Metal Sonic, you know, like a, like a rebound or something? Sonic apparently approves of this. Toad, I, I don't think Daisy will like being a rebound to Metal Sonic. Again, it's a fan fiction. Anything can happen. Just, just saying. And uh, if I say anything dumb, just know it's the skunk fumes talking. <laughs> just... Alright, we are getting a lot of white stones. Yeah, wow. They're being... Individu individually packaged. I wonder if they were going to Madagascar and they got shipped here instead. 
Maybe we'll see a talking zebra while we're at it. <laughs> Very possible. I mean, we're gonna bound to see Wario and Waluigi here, and apparently Daisy, so... We'll be seeing them soon. And oh no, we <laughs> can't force this open, not like we can just climb this. <laughs> I mean, if DK can't climb a two feet steep, what... What hope do we have for ourselves? Oh, that's honestly not what I was expecting, and, uh... Yeah, honestly, okay, I'm not gonna lie. It has been a, a fair amount of time since I've done this. Like, I've been focused more so on stuff like writing and editing and stuff. So, I honestly have no idea what's going on. I'm just hoping for the best. News brief. Blaze came to this world using the power of the Soul Emeralds. See, that's helpful. Not to me, because I already know this. Oh my god. Ciao. Guys, the freaking uprising. No. How many times do I have to tell him? I don't want him. Oh, and we only have three hearts! Mmm, also spins. Again, not a good time for a deep breath. I don't- I- I know it's Umo Chow, but like... Maybe- maybe halt on the deep breaths a little bit? Oh, and there's- Oh, wow, I already found the ice wall. I haven't found a single mission yet, but I found the freaking ice wall, that's- that's weird. And suddenly Vector, and I feel like we probably can't do anything with Vector right now, because... Oh, hey, look, a teleporter. But like, because we haven't found anything necessarily, so like... Alright, well, if it's gonna lead down there, we may as well just talk to Vector. What an unusual place to see a crocodile! They're shoehorned everywhere, Toad, don't worry about it. Specifically Vector, actually. I'd always thought crocodiles hated the cold. Hi. Oh, do you know him, Sonic? Vector the crocodile, huh? Maybe we should say hello? Ah, uh, Vector? V Vector, you, you have a nice back, but I, I bet you have a better face. Whoa! You gave me a scare there. You got cash? Is that is that is that why you're you're calling me? Cause you got you got dollars as green as my skin. Oh, oh no no you don't. Well I, I guess if it, if it's Sonic and, and that's cool and yeah, you got a whole a whole gang with you, a whole gang of friends. I recognize some of them. Other, others I don't. But you know I, I'll get to know them. Oh who who's that big fella? Ooh, ooh. I'm Donkey Kong. Nice to meet you. What are the headphones? Do you like music? Yeah. Oh no, this is just the screams of my enemies. It turns out, it makes for really soothing listening to music while you're staring at a sign. <laughs> hey, Donkey Kong, speaking of the screams of my enemies, would you like to do a short track race to honor the screams? Oh, uh, I, I think I have a meeting to go to. Oh no, he's pulling my tie! Poor Donkey Kong. It's okay. It's okay. The, the nice crocodile won't hurt you. Also, King Kong versus Godzilla. We were, we were all thinking of it. I will say, though, I am glad about the fact that I am playing as, as Donkey Kong. It is also kind of funny, though, that we're playing as, um... We're playing against Vector. Oh my god, it has been way too long since they've had us play this, and I... Oh! Oh, is it... Is this a different one? Than the regular speed scanning? Because this, this feels different. Hold up. Hold up. I thought... This looks different, and I don't know why. I'm hitting L and it's doing like nothing. Your controls. No, it should be it should be the same. And yet we're we're drifting into a wall. 
I don't know what's happening and why it's not working. I'm very, very confused because this is not the same as speed skating. And he's about to lap me. That's cool. That's cool. Can I ever just do a, a mission? That, that would be nice. That would be nice. Okay, so my dumb self decided to finally look at the instructions, and it turns out, as you're making turns, if you hold L and mash the R button, you gain speed. Guess what I didn't know when doing this, because guess what isn't a thing in speed skating as far as I know, and if it is, then I won without doing that. Just saying. Okay, I I do see this going a lot better, except for the fact that he's still leagues and leagues ahead of me, which is not fantastic, to be honest, especially since DK is dead. DK died! <laughs> you know, I was like, maybe this will be the deciding factor, and I'll win. And then I realized I'm playing as a Mario character, and this game was made by Sega. Am I am I making implications that because it's made by Sega, that a Nintendo character will be at a disadvantage? Oh no no of course of course of course not, of course not. I'm not implying it. I'm telling it. <laughs> I'm telling the honest truth. But also I need to be I need to be more inside. Which means I need to be moving towards the left more to be able to do that. And Vector, Vector is scaring me. Him in his aquatic ways. Him shoehorning himself into first. You think I don't see your game? Your ploy? Vector? Also, why is the final sprint at, like, that one corner? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh my god, he's gonna do it. But please tell me he's gonna be slow too. We're both just so freaking slow! What's the point of doing final sprint when it's like halfway? Like, okay, halfway into the third one, they're like final sprint. That's not where you would do a final sprint. You would do it like right before the line. Why are you having me do it there? That's just, that's weird. That's weird. Okay. Speed skating? I really enjoyed that mission. This one? Unless I missed something in speed skating, I feel like they overcomplicated something. Or I just forgot something, because it's it's been since December, and sure, late December when I uploaded, mid-December for just when I would have actually played it, but like, unless I forgot something, that, that was, mm, that was a treat, that was a treat. We're almost a half an hour in, and had I just looked at the instructions, I wouldn't have actually game over. Again, editing spins. Have fun with the raw footage. You beat me. Drat. I skipped out on work and practiced my heart out to master the short track too. Skipped out on work just to listen to the screams of your enemies and try to get one for me? Well, thankfully, I'm actually timing from Milo Murphy's Law, so I was able to just reverse time and destroy you. I also looked at the manual. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I guess manuals are important and you should look at them or you'll look like an idiot on the internet. But I wonder what Espio and Charmy would say if they ever found out. <laughs> Truth is, I came out here with them to investigate white stones. They're these random stones. Guess what? They're white. Isn't that surprising? No. Hey, I know. Since I'm not investigating any of these stones and I suck at short track, why don't I just shoehorn myself into your party? Yeah, it's what I did in Team Sonic Racing. Oh yeah, that that's years into the future. 
But I also did it in, in Sonic Freeriders. Yeah, that's also a little bit in, in the future, I think. I don't know. I don't pay attention to, to future stuff. That's Silver's MO. Ooh, my head is hurting. But, uh... I'd say no, but you're, you're holding me by the tie. Please, stop. Fine, man. You, you can join. You can join. Oh, heck yeah. No work and I get to bother people. Awesome. Back to joining your party. Espio and Chermy can handle the Whitestone investigation on their own. If you want to know how many white stones are left, just ask SPO or Charmy. Matter of fact, I sort of abandoned Charmy back in the future. Maybe we should drop in on Draga. But either way, I'm along for the ride. Whether it leads wherever it leads us. Thanks. Yeah, clearly IDW vector is a very different vector than this vector. Just saying. Well, now that we have 30 minutes of raw footage that I now have to just completely shove out of my mind so that I can actually continue this journey with just a completely new mindset, we're going to go for it. And I hope that, uh, that we can get things done and, oh boy, I'm going to definitely have to cut, cut some stuff out. Oh, and here's Espio, by the way. Vector, you've been neglecting your duties. Aren't you the boss? <laughs> oh, yeah, my bad. I was just uh, getting caught up fighting an ape. Yeah, no, that that's not a joke. I, I was actually fighting an ape. Hi. Nice to meet you, Espio. And, uh, yeah, he wasn't kidding. He really bruised DK's neck. It was it was really scary. It's kind of like a bad cop. Just no good cop around. Ugh. Ah, don't, don't worry about it. Um, don't, don't tell him. I, I don't I don't want to get arrested. Um, Vector, you have issues. Anyway, though. No, no, don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're, we're not going to invite you or anything. It's just, uh, I wanted to make sure you were doing your work. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's all. Figured you could handle it on your own. Great. You suck as a boss. As long as you're paying me, I guess. Don't get too excited, though. I only know the numbers in Frost Town, Polo Street, and Ice Peak, because why would it be simple? That's the entire conversation. It forces you into a cutscene and then doesn't actually tell you what the numbers are. <laughs> Thanks, game. That's great, UI. That's really kind of you. I mean, there's not really that much when it comes to hunting them. You just look under things for the most part and just cross your fingers and hope for the best. Also, is that a cannon up there? I guess we don't really need to worry much about the cannon, though, considering there is an actual mission here. They do exist. And by they exist, I mean a purple toad. Purple toad with a mission. And uh, what do you have, toad from sunshine? Tunnels. You have tunnels. That's cool. Figure, figure skating. Ooh. Do a successful triple spin jump to the tune of the Nutcracker. Which is public domain, I, I think. If it's not, then uh, then we might we might be screwed. We might be screwed. Now I have seen this in. Um, also, now now our thing is just a house, but I have seen this in the previews. So hopefully everything goes well. Now usually for figure skating you'd be like, oh yeah, who's the most graceful person that we can put out there to make this as majestic as physically possible. Now, what I like to do, I like to choose the most ridiculous character to put out there, and what more graceful than a monkey? Now, usually I would do Bowser, I would do Wario, or I would do Eggman. Donkey Kong is just the closest thing. And you know what? I think he'll be a very great, majestic figure skater. 
I also love that part of King Kong where, where he figure skated and got two sevens and a 9.5. Only one judge survived. Catastrophic. I will say, this does seem like the most elaborate out of all of the missions. Thankfully, right now, all we have to do is make sure we do perfect spirals. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, that's that's fine. That's one, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Also, for, uh, for directions, there was a bit of a hyphen in there. Oh, that's what it meant. Was the, the jump? Okay, but for direction for directions, there was a hyphen, so it just said die dash, and then under it was rections. So Donkey Kong just gets the tribute of die. Rections. That's that's all. That's all. But uh, you know what? <laughs> After failing at skating, I will 100% take the majestic art. That is Donkey Kong twirling. So good they said stop the rest of the competition. No one will be better. And we just we just know this in our hearts. It is the truth and it is undeniable. You will never find anything more graceful in your entire lives. So like just stop looking because your life has peaked. I know that already happened at that at that one soccer game, but some people they weren't there. They weren't there. Oh, I just figured with Sonic, I would walk in the middle of a dead woods and tap A and see what happened. Turned out, it, it, was, a, it was a secret, which I'm just as surprised. And you know what? There's, there's a chest here. I might as well take the white stones. Thought maybe it would be equipment, which is mainly why I did it. But thankfully, we haven't really been having to search for anything. Although, I say this now, and we have a chow. So what do you want? Short track. Okay. Come in, come in first or second without bumping into a rival. Yeah, I did that with Vector, except I bumped into him at like the very beginning. So, okay. Let's think about this strategically. We need somebody fast. We need somebody who doesn't have a gigantic hitbox. Uh, okay. Who has not been used a lot and fits that profile? Surprisingly, Blaze. Which I will take because I love Blaze the Cat. So let's do this. Okay, we've got Donkey Kong in here, which has big hitbox. Amy does not, and then Knuckles. So, so somehow, the most obnoxious character here is a Mario character. So that's cool. Also, we just bumped in Amy because I didn't get the boost. Now here's the thing that sucks. I still have much to learn. Not not about the fact that Blaze hasn't gone to college, apparently. But the factor that we don't have many hearts and if if we lose bad things. And we have to do this without without bumping into our fellow fellow athletes, if you will. If you if you really want to call Well no, I guess in this terminology, in this world, they would technically be athletes. Like it or not. Oh god, I messed that up. But it's fine. Fine. I mean honestly, I kinda just want to ignore the final sprint, because of our hearts, to be honest. Did I say to be honestly? Because I don't, I don't think I did. I don't think I was honest with you guys. Not really sure. You know what? Not that bad. And final sprint? Kind of worthless. What's the point? Because then you sprint yourself out way before you get to the actual line, and then they have a chance of catching up. Look at how slow they were at the end. They were like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't breathe. Oh my gosh. But like Blaze is just like, I'm cool. I'm I'm go with it. The one with heat and fire powers is cool. Just saying. I mean, she is she is actually a pretty pretty cool character. Personally, I do really like Blaze because Blaze is cool. But there we go, guys. That is three. Should I stop here? 
Probably. But I think we can at least get one more mission, and I think that would be a really good place to end it. And so far, the skunk smell is starting to go away. So I could probably lay in bed for a bit, just watch some Tom Fox, unwind, and then turn the candle off. And that, by turn the candle off, I mean using my breath. And then things should hopefully work out, and I should be able to fall asleep. Of course, though, it is 11.34, so far, far, far away from when I actually wanted to go to bed. Oh, great. And editing spins is really loving these these longer things. So let's just let's just wrap this up. Uh, wrap wrap this trivia up. Sweden's Carl August Kronlund, who participated in the curling event at Shamonix in 1924, was 58 years 100. 55 days old at the time of the oldest Winter Olympics competitor. I'm guessing there was somebody else who was 58 years old because why would you specify the amount of days? That's that's a little little weird. A little strange. But all right, I mean, I guess if that's what how you want people to digest facts, you you can. All right, Uma Chow, I'm enlisting your help right now. Ciao. Okay, apparently we need to meet up with Charmy, and that's an actual story thing that we have to do. Sure. I think I see... Okay. As long as I can walk down there, then maybe. Oh my god, I could just walk down there. Oh my god, it was that freaking simple. It was that freaking simple this entire time to get down here. Listen, listen, I was going to mention about the fact that I didn't want to go back to Cuberinth because this place sucks. Like, there are some really nice areas in this game. This is not one of them, and this is when things started getting maze-like. But it's so much. Like, I went around for half an hour trying to find this stupid thing. And all I had to do was go that way. Hey. And let's see a way to open this gate. <laughs> An associate of mine's in there. Checking out the island. He'll open up for me. Hey, Charmy, it's, uh, it's Vector, long time no see. Don't, don't worry about the fact that I just left you here. Oh, is that you, Vector? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a big ruckus. It smells kind of fishy. And I'm, I'm a bit hungry. And you, you left me with no food. So, uh, if it is you, then please go away. Stop bumbling about in there, Charmy, and open up. I told you, it's me, the guy who shoot horn... <laughs> The guy who shoehorns himself into everything. Whee! Sonic Heroes Club, okay. Okay, let's say you are Vector. And what's the password? No. The password? Whee! How else will I know it's really you? Say the password or you're not getting in. Oh, yeah, that's great. I don't remember it. I knew it. You're not really Vector. No way I'm opening the gate. I hate this. Vector told me he said anyone who doesn't know the password isn't me. Well, this is just great. Wait, I remember now. Yo, Charmy, the password wasn't a word. It's a quiz. What's that? Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe you are a vector after all. We'll find out the real answer with this quiz. Cool. How all quizzes work. You answer it correctly. And they, they have to make a mini game out of it. Okay, what's the mini game gonna be? Curling is sometimes called darts on ice. What? No! Why? That's that's weird. No thank you. You can check signs you found in the missions list. Yeah, that that sounds reasonable. The metal designs are different for every Winter Olympic Games. Yeah. Standard. Anyone can go inside pipes during your adventure. No. I don't know why Vector would even know that at this point. To get the Stardust shoes, you can try the ski animation. I don't remember. No. I was thinking, yes. It it deducts from you. Oh, that's stupid. You win the deluxe half by, by crossing the finish line. Yes. No. Cool. Cool. Can I brute force this? No. That's cool. That's cool. I got one wrong and then it just screwed me up. I can't even do a freaking simple quiz right. In my defense, it's it's already like midnight at this point. Getting an event item lets you take on your mission. Sure. Yeah. I don't even know what you're talking about. There's always a treasure chest when you open a gate. No. You're literally behind a gate, dude. The Olympic Winter Games begin after the summer ones. Yes? I don't know. It's 50-50. Athletes from countries with no snow have participated. I mean, that that's just, that's just logistical. It's just logical. After you clear a mission, there's a star in the sun. Yes. Please let me in now. Literally anybody could have answered that question. That doesn't mean that they are Vector. Guess what, guys? Now I'm Vector. Great. My worst nightmares have come true. Huh. I guess you are really Vector. Yeah. I could have just, you know, held up my headphones and cranked it up so you could hear the screams and you'd know it was me. Oh, yeah, right. You should probably go to therapy for that. You open the gates anyway, despite his concerning confessions. Okay, cool. Well, you would you would think that all of this time would mean that a mission has been done. No. No. That half an hour was literally me running a freaking round and just... Okay. Reach the goal with at least seven coins. See, that sounds simple. I don't even have to do a trick. I just... I just have to do it. And you know what? You know what? Vanilla Mario. Vanilla Mario. I don't care. I don't care. I just want it to be over. And I hate, I hate being like this because like we're in the stretch and you guys are really enjoying this playthrough and I, I want to continue play, enjoying it. And like the figure skating seems really neat. But then like you have stuff like this where it's like navigate this maze. And that is the game. And it's like, at this point, you, you should just know that that's just not good design, you know? And you know what? I'll make them even even happier. I'll cross the line with, with 10. I, I should probably at least get some points just in case. Just in case. And hopefully that doesn't get used up. Sweet! Cool, there we go. I just want to make sure because some of these missions are like, uh, you need to do better. Also, is this the first time we've completed this mission where a Goomba behind the character actually feels natural? Because <laughs> every other time it's been like Sonic character and Maple Tree Way, and this time it's, it's Mario. <laughs> and then Sonic gets the, the thing. I mean, it was about collecting coins. We, we had to do it to him. And guess what, guys? That means that we can end the episode. Oh my god. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. Share us out without being known love. Brother, mother, sister, father, iguana. I gotta say, it's not it's not that I don't like this game. I do enjoy this game. It has some really good merits. 
It's just that as we're going later on, I'm noticing these weird quirks with the game where they're deciding, hey, let's take an original event and just add this like really weird caveat to it. Like, you know, and just, it feels strange. Like, I understand why you would do it and why you would feel the need to do it. It's just also one of those things of like, but you could have just left it, let it be, but changed the goal. You know, you didn't have to tweak the controls. And then also like at the end, it's like, why are you forcing all of these like ridiculous, ridiculous maze areas on us? I just, I don't understand why. You know, like this section that we're doing right now, just to get to an ice wall. Like, what is the purpose of making this a maze? I just don't understand. But either way though, guys, um, you, you shouldn't need to put up with this. It's just that I figured I'd do this while I was, I was doing my outro and slowly going insane. And if you're wondering, yes, yes, I am, because that was an hour recording for like probably the shortest footage of actual mankind and my brain my brain hurts my brain is melted and i don't i don't like the fact that every episode has ended like this and i hate it <sighs> anyway that's it keep it safe Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. You can subscribe if you really liked it. You can also hit the bell to make sure that you don't miss any videos by me. And uh, on the screen right now, there's my first channel subscription, second channel, as well as some videos to check out. All right, guys, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you later.